Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Kavashan. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Kavashan, popular designer crossbreed that combines small pedigree dogs, the Bichon Frise and Cavalier King Spaniel. The result is an extremely soft, fluffy, kind, and sociable dog of above average in intelligence. They go back at least to the 1950s, when Italian sailors began keep Cavachon dogs as pets. As always, the pros are up first, not too big or too tiny, good size. Low shedders, their coats shed very little and generally good for people that suffer from allergies. They might be a good choice for a first-time dog owner as they are relatively easygoing and sociable breeds. Quiet, Kavashans aren't particularly needy and they won't frequently whine or yelp excessively when they're upset. He doesn't need a lot of activity and isn't picky about people, dogs, food, etc. Moderate exercise, they are relatively small dog breeds so they don't need as much exercise as other bigger cavalier mixes. Family pet, they are obedient, affectionate pets by nature and enjoy the light-hearted energy of children's play. Intelligent, their above average intelligence and eagerness to learn make them easy to train. Affectionate, they are wonderful emotional support animals and excel as therapy dogs. Easy to house train and sweet even natures which makes them great companions. They are quite adaptable and happy to live in an apartment as long as they have enough daily exercise. Fun-loving natures Kavashans get along with everyone and everything. Now it's time for some cons, they form strong ties with their owners and detest being left alone. They may have a stubborn streak so a puppy could benefit from early training to lay down the ground rules. They need regular grooming although you won't have to contend with lots of hairs on your clothes, furniture and floor. Experience certain inherited health conditions that lead to hefty veterinary costs. Expensive, crossbreeds can be very pricey and Cavachon typically costs between $1,000 and $5,000. Appearance, Kavashans have a double coat that is medium long, silky, and wavy. Both male and female will stand between 12 and 13 inches tall, and typically weigh between 15 to 35 pounds. They typically have two or three colors in their coats include white, apricot, pied, and tan. Kavashans are generally healthy dogs and can live up to 10 to 15 years. Grooming, Kavashans don't shed much and have thick coats that curl and kink. It's essential to brush their hair every four to five days to avoid matting, knotting and the buildup of dirt. It's important to keep the eyes and ears clean as these are the sites most likely to become infected. Shedding, Kavashans are known for being low shedding due to the Bichon lineage and the dog's small size. They are quite unpredictable since the Cavalier sheds a little and the Bichon is nearly a non-shedding breed. Cost. Kavashans can cost between $400 and $2,000 and are regarded as a designer breed. The price of a Kavashan with show quality bloodlines can cost up to $6,500. In the UK, the price of a Kavashan can range from £800 £1,200. In Canada, the price of a Kavashan can range from $1,200 Canadian dollars and in Australia $1,500. 3,000 Australian dollars. The price of a Kavashan puppy in India range from 30,000, 50,000 Indian rupees. Exercise and trainability, Kavashans need about 40 minutes of activity a day, usually involving a short walk and some playtime. They are small and won't demand miles and miles out of their owner at every opportunity. They're pretty energetic and might not love being as sedentary as owners might believe. Kavashans are intelligent and understanding, this doesn't mean that they should be left alone. As long as they're supervised around younger kids, Kavashan exercise very well and this is a terrific method for them to obtain the stimulation they require. It's entertaining to observe how they learn intuitively, and for a little dog, they have excellent problem-solving skills. They enjoy to find sneaky routes or fun hiding spots in their homes. To keep them responsible and at ease around big dogs, they must be socialized from an early age. Like with any small dog, exposure to large dogs should be done carefully and under close. Puppy picks things up quickly and hardly ever displays resistance or stubbornness. They are affectionate and need to be supported through positive reinforcement, not punishment. As a dog with above average intellect, 
they will need mental and physical stimulation, and if they don't get enough attention from their owners, they may feel at a loose end. Kavashuns are fast to respond to whatever restraint their owner applies to them. When confronted with a threat like another big dog, they aware their size and will hide behind their owner. Despite not being fragile small dog around, but must learn to not play too hard. Swimming, Kavashuns don't have much experience in swimming, but they may come to love the water in time. For their safety, always place them in a life jacket and keep an eye on how they're doing. If the dog has never been water or been swimming before, go slowly and let them play in the shallow end. Barking, Kavashan is not typically a yappy dog and can be pretty quiet. They might bark when they're happy, trying to catch your attention, or alerting you to an intruder. This boisterous behavior can be reduced by teaching your dog to lie quietly on his mat or dog bed. Weather and climate, they don't do well in the cold and shouldn't be left outside in the winter or taken for walks when it's cold. These breeds tolerate hot weather well, but you still need to be cautious when it's hot. Friendliness, these dogs are best suited for household with older kids. They are good with kids after the age of about 8 or 9, depending on the kids. Kava shuns are naturally quite friendly and tend to be open towards other dogs and people alike. If they're not properly introduced to many other dogs at a young age, they will likely be fearful once they grown up. Adaptability, they are intelligent dogs and even a first-time owners will find it easy to train them. They are relatively low maintenance and don't need any complicated grooming or training techniques. They are excellent apartment dwellers and right size for tiny homes, high-rise apartment, or multi-home complexes. Guard slash watchdog, they can make excellent watchdogs, as they tend to bark at strangers. Cavachon breed's lack of aggression is one of its best qualities. They may have a tendency to be a little possessive and may bark at strangers, but they hardly ever try to harm humans or other dogs. For this reason, this dog is not a good guard dog. Health issues, syringomyelia and mitral valve disease are the most common health problems for this breed. Mitral valve disease, an enlarged heart, leaky valve, and heart murmur are all symptoms. Have you had any experience with Cavachon? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.